it's Janine again with Wigs on Wednesday. While I'm thinking about it, guys, just go ahead and quick hit that subscribe button before I get this started today. That way you don't miss any more of my videos. I am coming to you today with another wig review, and I'm excited about this one because as you've kind of gotten a sense of in the videos, there's more to come to because I have some things filmed that I haven't posted yet. I'm having trouble finding the perfect curly unit for myself. Uh, my hair is wavy uh, naturally, maybe like a small banana curl or two in the back. Um, and basically the way I best curl my hair is if it's wet, I'll do the whole gel scrunching thing and then I get a really pretty wet water wave and I think that's kind of the curl pattern that looks nicest on me. But when you're trying to find that in a unit, sometimes it doesn't go so well. And I've been trying to find one that looks natural and gives me that kind of a fun vibe but in a much longer length hair. So today I am bringing you a Zori Sis. You know how we love Zori Sis and this is Como. And I'm not sure what Como's gonna do, but she's got a gorgeous wave going on. She's really long, it's a really fine wave. Um, another thing that I like to look for when it comes to a wavy wig is I like to make sure it's not curling from the root. That's just not how it happens on my head. So I look for something that's a little bit straight here and then the curl pattern develops. So I am just gonna break her open and we are gonna see what she has for us. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here she is out of the package and so far I think we're looking really promising. Um, I think this curl pattern is looking very much like a nice wet gelled curl. I definitely do not want to brush this out at all. Um, what can sometimes go wrong with a curl pattern like this is it'll look too manufactured and the um, hair itself, because this is synthetic hair, will look like a plastic ribbon. I don't think I'm getting that from this curl, but I also think the color I selected really helps. Um, this is the Som RT 2730. So a dark root that looks like a grown out kind of highlighted color, a little bit. This is actually kind of close to how my hair looks as my dye fades too. So that's kind of cool. Um, What's interesting about this unit, I've posted other colors below as I always do, and I know I always bring up Cherry from Glamour Trust, but I feel like she really tends to review great units that people want to see, and then she tends to pull a color that might not be quite the most commonly picked one, so you really get a good view of the unit. And she chose the one, let me see if I can figure out what uh, color it was just off the top here. Um, I'm pretty sure she reviewed the 3T Peach Blue. And she said that it had like a silly string look, that the curls had a silly string look. And sometimes I think, sometimes I think it's the wig and sometimes I think it's the color interacting with the curl pattern on the wig. So as you're shopping and, and looking for yourself, think about these things, think about what you're willing to do with, what you might have to do if when you get it, you're not sure you like it, um, and, and kind of go from there. But I'm gonna pop this on. I've delayed this a really long time. So let's see what she looks like. Okay, I am here with it on before cutting the lace. Um, things to note right away, no parting space. This, this is kind of just hair all here looking like it's coming off in the curl, which I guess is natural. I'm gonna explore it when I take it off to cut to see if there's anything, anything I can do by way of creating a parting space, but I'm not sure that there is. There's also a really decent amount of baby hair curls up here. I don't tend to use that or glue those down, so I'm gonna see how I can incorporate them in the wig. And of course, I'm gonna try a leave out just to blend this front in, particularly without having a parting space. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, real quick before I do that, 360, you know, I like to kind of just show you how they look out of the package so you know what you're getting. Here's what this wig looks like. What's interesting about this unit is I feel like the back curl pattern is a little more natural than the front side curl pattern. I, I kind of see what she meant by that silly string vibe. I don't know if it's just that they're a little too thick up front, so I'm gonna explore that. I'm going to see what I can find uh, in this uh, cap, if there's any way to get anything that looks like a part or if we are out of luck with that. 
And once I cut the, the lace off, I'll be back with a finished look. And of course, if I decide I need to play uh, with this somehow, I will play on camera for you so you could see the changes I make to the wig. I will see you soon. So real quick, some cap construction. You can see how finely ventilated the lace is here. The combs are actually directly on the sides above the ears, and then you have the adjustable strap and a comb in the back. Definitely basic, but no parting space. All right, guys, I'm back with my finished look for Como. I am gonna let you know what I think are the pros and cons to this unit, because there are a few. Uh, first off, the curl pattern. I think this is what I wanted. I'm feeling real cute, you know, like cute, cute. So this is definitely the look I wanted to have. For the front, I just pulled apart, like a, like I would grab a curl and I would pull it apart gently. Sometimes toward the bottom, it gets knotted. Just keep tugging, pull it straight down, and then to kind of refinish it, cold water on your fingertips. Just roll it over that two strands of hair you just created, and that should give you a pretty, um, finished curl that's a little less chunky and honestly it was just a couple in the front that I did just to loosen them up a bit to lessen that kind of silly string effect uh, there really is no parting space in this wig you kind of saw that from the cat photos so all I got to work with was this space right in here and it is like a pre plucked kind of unit uh, definitely throughout this part um, the ventilated lace is much finer so I did powder the parting space in that section the the hair in that section um, I did not pluck anything out of it because I didn't want to create any kind of bald spot and it was so finely ventilated that I didn't really feel like it needed to but I feel like that gave it just like a little bit of a natural ish scalp looking area could it be better? Absolutely. And that kind of leads into where the real problem area is, which is right behind your lace section is a track. And it's a little harder to see with the dark root, um, but it's there. So I had to kind of play with how these curls were cascading from that point of the lace back. And where I think they could have just spent a little more time was directing the hair in a natural fashion. To cover that track, you're pulling something and this piece of hair is going this way, like directional this way, but this piece of hair is going this way. And if you try to bend them out, you can't because these are all wefts of hair. So you kind of have to follow where that weft is going. And that's what kind of gives this head portion of hair, kind of a messy look. So what I did guys, once I got all of this hair positioned in a way that I liked how it was covering the tracks, I then took my hot comb and did a smoothing. And I smoothed down to about here, right above my ear, all around the unit. I mean, I didn't get it perfectly flat. I'm sure I could spend more time with it. I don't know that perfectly flat is the goal with the curl but I wanted to kind of set those hairs directionally in place and I wanted to flatten them a bit because it just, there was so much bulk because these hairs are all overlapping each other back here with the way they placed the tracks on this unit. So do I think they could have done a better job with the design and placement of the hair on this wig? Absolutely. But overall, I think the look of this is what I was going for. And for the untrained eye, you know, it's hard to kind of identify those problem areas, but just be aware that they're there. I don't want to say like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's the best thing ever. It, you know, it took a little thought and placement, did a little bit of leave out just a little bit, like really just my own baby hairs in front of the baby hairs of the unit and then just kind of blended them all together. Uh, a fuller unit, uh, a fuller leave out could probably work. My hair right now where it's at and its color is leaning a little bit red, so I couldn't get it to blend uh, with this as well as I got it to blend with the Fantasia and MC Sunfire. So again, watch your leave out, watch what you do. Another thing about this unit, because the lace is so finely ventilated here, I have my wig cap pushed really far back. I have my wig cap kind of starting back here on my head and that's because any closer you really see um, the wig cap through the unit 
and uh, if this were a blonde or a light rooted wig, it would be a different conversation. But because this is a dark root, I'm using my own roots to kind of make this look more natural. So wig cap, if you're dark rooted like me, have it pushed way far back so that you don't see any of that finishing band on your wig cap itself. All right, guys, so one more time, I'm gonna 360 the other way just so that you can take her in and see. I'm gonna try to show you how the hair looked on the top of this unit and how I hot combed it back a little to kind of help it keep its directions that it needs to be to look as flat as possible and cover what it needs to cover. Um, overall, I have to say I am really happy with this unit and it's mostly because it's giving me the curl pattern that I've been seeking, um, the curl pattern that I try to give my own hair. My hair never grows length like this. So even if I could, figure out how to get my curls to look as polished and smooth. It would never have this length. And I love that I get to live this moment with this unit. I'm probably gonna wear this out later today. I love, I think it looks pretty natural. Let me know what you think, comment below. Let me tell you the other colors this unit comes in. I am definitely gonna link that review uh, from Glamour Tress and any other reviews I find in the other colors so you can actually see them in action. But this wig does come in a one, a one B and a two. So those are your natural color sets. The 3T Peach Blue is what Cherry wore in her review, the FS1B30, which is a dark uh, brown, usually a, a 1B with the highlight. Um, the Somart 2730, Somart B, which is a dark root to a yellow, Somart Cafe, which is actually what's photographed on the picture, it looks very much like a, an ashy blonde. And then Somart Sorbet, which is actually to a peachy orange, and then a Somart Taro, which is to a light um, purple, a light lilac color. So those are the colors that Como comes in. Please do comment below. Let me know what you think of her and how I slayed her today. Also, if you are enjoying my channel, once again, subscribe, please. Let me know that you're there and watching. And of course, like this video if you enjoyed the content. Once again, this is Janine with Wigs on Wednesday, and I will see you next time. Take care. As always, if you made it to the end, you know you gotta hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Like, comment, share, of course, if you're enjoying this content. And let me know what you think about Zori Como. I'll see you next time.